Welcome to another GNU Cash Quick Start Tutorial. I'm Laura from the TheBusyBeePost.com. In this tutorial, I will show you how to record sales tax payments on the sales taxes you collect from your customers on behalf of your government authority. If you like my tutorials and find them helpful, please subscribe to show your support for this channel and don't forget to give a thumbs up. Let's begin. In the previous tutorial, we learned how to set up customer sales tax as a liability and how to apply it to invoices. Now it's time to dive into recording the sales tax payments you make to the governing authority, which will remove the dollar amount owed from the liabilities account. Let's get started. Step 1. Setting up the vendor. To record your sales tax payments, you first need to create a vendor for the government authority you owe taxes to. This vendor will represent the government body you're required to remit the sales tax to. Begin by selecting Business from the menu bar, then select Vendor, then choose New Vendor. Enter the company name. In this example, the business owner is required to remit the sales tax collected to the PA State Revenue Office. All other fields are optional. When finished, click OK to save the information. Step 2. Creating the bill. Now that you have your vendor set up, it's time to create the bill for the sales tax payments you owe. These bills will act as records of your tax obligations. Navigate to the Business tab and select Vendor. Then select New Bill. Scroll down to Billing Information and select the vendor for this bill by entering the first few letters of the vendor's name in the text box or by clicking on the Select tab and then using the search tool to search for the vendor and select it. Then click on OK to proceed. Step 3. Filling out the bill details. Filling out the bill is similar to entering an invoice in GNU Cash. Modify the bill date if needed. In the description field, describe the transaction. Here, I will enter Customer Sales Tax Remitted. You can leave the action field blank if you choose to do so. Next, choose the appropriate expense account, which is the sales tax liability account. Enter the quantity. Here I will enter one. And in the unit price text box, here is where I will enter the total amount I paid. I will click on the bill column to enter a check mark. Step 4. Posting the bill. Now that you have the bill details filled out, it's time to post the bill. Select Post on the toolbar. If you don't see the post icon, scroll over to the end and click on the drop down arrow to reveal the hidden menu. And when the dialog box appears, select Yes to post it and save the bill because if you don't post it, you will lose it. When the post dialog box opens, here you can change the dates if you need to. These are the dates that will appear on a hard copy of the bill that the system will produce, whether you need a hard copy or not. The Post To account should have the Liabilities Payable account selected by default and when you're finished, select OK. Step 5. Processing the Payment Processing the payment finalizes the payment in the system. To begin, select Pay on the toolbar. Again, if you don't see the Pay icon, scroll to the end and click on the drop-down arrow to reveal the hidden menu and select Pay. On the Process Payment screen, 
Make sure the bill you want to pay is selected and then verify payment information. And in the transfer account section, choose the account for the payment. In most cases, this would be your checking account. And select OK. Step 6. Printing a copy of the bill. If you need a hard copy of the bill, you can easily print it by selecting the print icon on the toolbar. Step 7. Checking your sales tax liability record. Back on the account screen under the liabilities account, you can see your sales tax liability balance. In this example, the balance is zero since the sales tax liability was paid in full. Your balance will depend on your payment status. If you click on the sales tax liabilities account, inside the account you can see how the system is keeping track of your sales tax liability. Here I can see the balance due from the original invoice and below you'll have the record of the payment you made to the governing authority. In my example it shows there's no balance due. And if I wanted to see the details of the original transaction, since it's a split transaction and I'm in the basic ledger view, I have to select view, then auto split ledger to see the full details of the original transaction. And there you have it. Now you know how to record your sales tax payments to your government authority in GNU Cash. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a single episode.